This is Mahmoud Hassan Mehraz. Welcome to another solution tutorial of SOLIDWORKS. Today we are going to solve this 3D problem. In this 3D problem, this is the isometric view and all the dimensions are given in the isometric view. So first of all, I will start drawing from the right plane. In the right plane, I will draw this circle. And this circle has a diameter of 50 unit. Then I will extrapose it to here and the dimension will be 205 minus 90 degree. After that, we can see we have another another circular profile, and this circular profile has a dimension of 28 unit. So I'll draw this circular profile 20 unit, 28 unit here, and it's to it to 90 unit. Okay, so let's let's do this. So I am selecting the right plane here. Now sketch. Now select the circle and place the circle here. Now dimension it to 50 unit now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss now extrude boss it to 205 minus 90 degree 90 unit okay now reverse the direction now press ok so after select this face now sketch now normal to it now select another circle and place the circle here now dimension it to 28 diameter now isometric it for a better view now go to features and now extrude boss now this time extrude boss it to 90 degree in 90 unit okay extrude bossing it to 90 unit now press ok after that in let's uh, return to our sketch uh, in our sketch we have seen the distance here to here is 22 so what we need to do uh, from the mid line here i will draw a center line uh, okay and from the center line i will offset two line uh, one is upper here and another is in lower portion in here so the so this half distance will be 22 in it and 22 in it then i will convert the total circle okay then i will trim this middle portion then i will extrude cut this upper portion and this lower portion and this extrude cut portion has a, a extrude cut of 85 unit after extrude cutting this portion we can see we have some circular extrude cut in this upper face and this circular extrude cut has a dimension of 14 unit and they are 15 unit apart from here and from this mid plane it's the, this half distance will be 11 unit and this two has a distance of 35 unit then i will mirror this other two one and I will, then i will extrude cut so i am selecting so rotating here selecting this face now sketch now normal to it after that select the center line and place the center line here and draw a center line after that uh, select the offset entities and from that select this line and now dimension it to 22 divided by 2 unit so it will be 11 unit now select the bidirectional now press ok after that select this face surface and now use the convert entities so a circle will be automatically drawn now select the trim option and trim this portion that we don't need so i am trimming this extra portion okay so we have trimmed it now press ok after that isometric it for a better view now go to features and now is to cut now is to cut it to 85 unit so it's to cutting it to 85 unit now press ok after that select this upper face now sketch now normal to it now place it to here now select a circle and place a circle here and draw a dimension of 14 diameter and also i am going to draw another circle dimension of 14 diameter now select the isma dimension tool and from the isma dimension tool select a circle here and from this midpoint the distance will be uh, 22 divided by 2 so it will be 11 unit automatically and one from this circle to this vertical line the distance is 15 unit and again this circle and this circle both of them has a distance of 35 unit okay so after that you can select this two circle and make a relation of horizontal or you can select this circle and manually dimension it as you want okay so i am going to manu manually dimensioning it 11 unit so all the dimension has been done 
now i will draw the other two mirror circle for doing that i need a center line so i'm selecting a center line place the center line here and drawing a center line okay after i have drawn the center line select the mirror entities and entities to mirror what we need to mirror is this circle and that circle after that mirror about select mirror about this line now press ok so now i submit it for a better review now go to features and now stop cut now stop cut uh, now press ok so it has been done and now this time uh, if we return back to our sketch you can see uh, we have some cut here and for that cut we, if we uh, let me zoom it here for a better view so i am zooming it here okay here we can see we have uh, some rect first of all some we have some rectangular cut then we have uh, some semicircle cut here for that drawing let me simplify it in this inner part the distance is 8 unit and this upper part and this lower part the distance is 13 unit and we can see it has a this distance of 25 unit then it both has semicircle top here for drawing this shape first of all if from the center line i'll draw a center line of 25 unit okay then i will draw i draw select the offset tools and draw a rectangular shape okay first i will draw a 8, 8 unit rectangular shape for the inner shape and for the outer shape i will draw the 13 unit rectangular shape okay after that i will in the offset in which i will use the capping for this semicircle portion then for the inner 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 portion i will just cut it to 10 unit and from the outer for the outer portion i will just cut two for through all okay let me demonstrate for that i am first of all selecting the top plane here now right click on it now sketch now normal to it after that you zoom it here and moving it to here and now selecting a center line and placing the center line to the center and drawing a horizontal line of 25 unit after that select the offset entities okay uh, offset entities. first of all i will draw for the inner portion so inner portion uh, the distance is 8 units so the half distance will be 8 divided by 2 okay and now select the capping and i'm setting the arc okay now press ok it is over dimension so i am deleting one of the dimension so it is not over dimension now i submit it for a better view now go to features and now it to cut and this portion has the to cut of 10 unit okay and it will be from the mid plane and now press ok as this is the inner portion we are not seeing it for that for a better view i am selecting the section view now in the section view you can see that uh, we have done our uh, stud cut perfectly okay now it's time for the next portion for that i'll i'll select this inner face okay now right click on it now sketch now normal to it okay now zoom it here place it here okay now select a line tool and place the center line here and draw a line of 25 unit now select the offset entities and this time uh, the distance will be 13 unit so 13 uh, half dimension will be 13 divided by 2 okay make sure to click the cap in arc by the channel you can trim this portion or you can leave it here because we don't have any part to here as you want now press ok now i submit ticket for a better view now go to features and now it should cut now it cut it to uh, select select this arrow and it's cut it to lower portion okay after that we need to waste to cut it to upper portion so i will mirror it for that i am selecting the top plane now select the mirror entities and the top plane has a selected automatically as the mirror face now select this tree and from this tree select is to cut four now press ok so as you can see we have drawn uh, this portion now it's time for our fillet we can see we have uh, we have fillet here okay and the if we look at here it has saying the fillet radius is two unit uh, two unit so i am giving the radius to two unit fillet radius okay so i am selecting the fillet option from here 
now dimension it to 2 unit okay now select this face now press ok select this edge okay now press ok uh, now you can see we have done our 3d sketch as you can see we have done our 3d sketch thank you for watching till the end thanks for watching and keep learning be different